All right, last one on our tangent uh, set of four videos here, tangent secant segments. So here we go, we've got ourselves a tangent segment CD and the secant segment AC. And the rule here is that we're gonna take this tangent and square it. Take the tangent and multiply it by itself. Set that equal to the small piece of the secant times the whole secant. Now, when I say small piece of the secant, I really, in blue here, I kind of mean like the one that's closest to this point of intersection here. All right, we use that formula for tangent, uh, for the other video with uh, tangent secant segments. Uh, so that's what this video is, but we use that for uh, different video secant secant segments, rather. All right, so here we go. Number one, we want to go and maybe put a dot there where the intersection is and we want to say, okay, this is the tangent, we're going to square that. Set that equal to nine times the whole thing. The whole thing is nine plus x. Common mistake here is to say that that's nine times x. It's not, it's nine plus x. So this is 144, distribute, distributive property brings that 9 in here, and in here, 81 plus 9x. Subtract 81 from both sides, we get 63 equals 9x, x is 7. Number 2. All right, when I see these problems, I immediately look for my tangent. The tangent is the segment that is off here and it's intersecting the circle at one point. So we're gonna square that thing. When I square that thing, I have to put it in parentheses because it's a binomial. So that equal to the segment that's closest to the point of intersection times the whole thing. The whole thing is x minus 1 plus 10. All right, so if I were to color code these, this would be my red segment. And this would be the blue segment over here. All right, so here we go. We have to foil this. It might help you to actually expand it. It's a binomial times a binomial. So it's first, outside, inside, last. Over here, quantity x minus 1, quantity x plus 9. I want to simplify those constants first. And again, we're foiling first, outside, inside, last. x squared plus 8x minus 9. Okay, so now we're left with a whole bunch of stuff. There's a quadratic on the left and right, but the cool part is, watch what happens. We've got an x squared on the left side of my equal sign. Here's my equal sign, right? So we're kind of like dealing with these two separately. x squared and x squared on both sides of the equal sign cancel out, leaving us with just the linear terms and the constants. That's all we have right there. So now let's solve that. We'll subtract 6x from, from both sides and then we'll add 9. We get 18 is 2x, x is 9. And I encourage you to plug that back in here. You get 9 plus 3 is 12. Back in here you get 9 minus 1 is 8. So 12 squared should equal 8 times 18. And it does. Number 3. All right. Immediately train your eyes to go and find that tangent first. The tangent Squared equals 9 times the whole thing. x squared equals, let's see, that's 90 plus 54. All right, so here we're looking for what number multiplies by itself to get 144. Well, the answer to that actually is x equals 12 and negative 12. Right, because when you solve something like this, you want to take 
the square root of both sides. And that actually leaves you with positive and negative 12. But remember, we're dealing not in the abstract, but in the real life. So when we actually plug those values back in, we can't have a negative solution. That's what we call an extraneous solution. Solution in this case, you can't have a negative 12 length right there. So the only answer we have is positive 12. If this were just algebra class, then we'd have two solutions, but geometry class, we only have one. All right, last one, number four. Train your eyes to go right to that tangent. We're going to square that thing when we square it. It's a binomial, so you have to put it in parentheses. Times x, and then the whole thing, x plus 10. So here we go. We're going to x squared plus 8x plus 16. And then distribute x squared plus 10x. All right, the x squareds are on both sides. That's a really good thing. We can cancel those right out, leaving us with 8x plus 16 equals 10x. 16 is equal to 2x. I subtracted 8x from both sides, so x is 8. And again, let's plug them back in. We get 8 plus 12. 8 plus 4 is 12 squared. That should equal 8 times 18. I think we had one just like that a few problems ago, so that works out. All right, that's it. Sometimes you know you'll be left with a quadratic, which you might have to solve by factoring or you know by using your quadratic formula or your calculator or whatever. But uh, for for a lot of them, they'll just cancel out. So when you have an x squared on both sides of the equal sign, just cancel them right out. All right, so that wraps up our videos on the tangent angles and the tangent segments and things.